My name is Darren Cohn. I'm the IT business office lead for Ford of Europe. Uh, working for Ford is a very inclusive um, company. It listens to my needs. My name is Erkan Uzal. I am 45 years old. I am living in Cologne, uh, Germany since 1986. Uh, I came to Germany uh, as I was 10 years old. And nowadays I'm working on the engine plants in Cologne. There are people that think, oh, that person's got a disability, they can't do X, Y, or Z, for whatever reason. And they, they, they focus on the disability and not the ability of the person. Uh, as I started uh, to work in the, in the line, I came in contact with deaf colleagues, and one of them was working beside me. On the line, you don't have the time for reading and writing. And I decided to learn this language. I am their ears and I am their tongue. So I am someone who gives the information to persons who are not able to understand, especially in safety things. If you take the Paralympics example, those people have shown that they're able to participate in sports. We can show you that we can do exactly the same jobs as you can do. They come with their own creativity as well. Being a disabled person, I have to think about how I do things. I have to find solutions on a daily basis. Um, at the beginning, it was very difficult for him. He don't have any contact, so the hearings, uh, hearing colleagues and so on. After a year and year, so he, he getting uh, more comfortable uh, because of behavior of thought to give him that what he needs. Over the years, I've been called everything from cripple, spastic, and a number of things in between. And people use that language all of the time. They don't realize that things like handicap can affect an individual. You know, it's a, it's a common word that people will use, or someone will use the word cripple with pain. You, you, without understanding it, you could be upsetting someone by using that, that language. Respect is everything. No, you cannot uh, have a friendship without respect. You cannot have a relationship without respect. You cannot have a leadership without respect. And that's what I am thinking about. So give respect to get respect. When I joined the Disability and Accessibility Group, I, I felt that I could bring something that other people didn't, couldn't bring. And I wanted to give people with disabilities who worked for Ford a voice. And I wanted to be that voice for them. Uh, winning the DEI award was bittersweet for me. Um, I actually had nominated two other groups for, for DEI awards and I, I won the award and I was nominated by um, a line manager of mine and they, they were not recognised for their award. So I was really pleased with it, with, with the recognition that I, I received with, with the award, but I was upset that the people that I had nominated hadn't won the award. It was a great feeling to, 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 uh, to be honored for my actions. I do it with pleasure. I do it uh, because I see it as my duty. I know how it is to don't understand anybody. Uh, with my translation, I create a diverse and inclusive culture. <laughs>